Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the ninth episode of the third season of Gochumon wa Usagi Deska, the one where blooming happens. So, last episode we actually had a lot of Riza focus, kind of like a Riza appreciation episode, and it was pretty great. Pretty Some pretty good stuff there, without question, including our little uh, squad, I don't remember the name for it, you know, but, you know, Chino, Megu, and Maya, they had like a squad name or something and went to the pool, that's always a good time, so... Let's see if we can have fun in this episode. I I imagine we will. So, three, two, one, play. Flowers. Very fitting for our bloom season. Is that little Chia? I think that's little Chia. Like childhood friend stuff we're gonna get here. Childhood friend flashbacks. I'll gladly take that. Just don't fall. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> Everyone bow to your new queen. He already has the crown, so can't really argue with that. Nice to see you, Chia. The, the crown. That does look pretty small and easy to lose. Cafeteria of my soul. I was not expecting to start this episode off with a Chia Shadow Childhood Friend flashback. Dance, 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 dance. Well, I do love the house opening. Because I know I brought up rewatching some of season one, and yeah, this opening is definitely better than season one's opening, I think. Although Seasons 1's is good too. Ah, student council stuff. Oh. Oh, okay then. I, I approve. It's step 1 of taking over the town. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Rip. I believe she can do it. Nope, nope, no doubts here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, that I the school's in good hands over here. Over here. <laughs> Cocoa best first lady. So we're writing a speech. <laughs> That's what you would assume, yeah. But no, we have more context than she does. Well, if she's writing a speech, yeah, it's... And Coco was very much on board as well. Watch Ducks of Law and Order, what? <laughs> well, maybe Shadow can help. <laughs> that that'd be great you could try it hey we spotted a chia let's go say hi Ah. Uh. 
um, maybe, maybe we could have phrased that better. I. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh wow, yeah, that that looks great on you, Frieza. I I approve. No doubt about that. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't say such a cliche thing. That was actually cute. You're gonna kill me, Frieza. I don't know if I would describe it as a doll exactly, but I do like it. No, I, I think this is fine. <laughs> oh. Wow. Uh, who is this mysterious new girl? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that because I rewatched the first season. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this could be fun. <laughs> well, that's a look. <laughs> you know, just as a change of pace. I don't see why not. <laughs> yeah, and who better, really? <laughs> yeah, you'd think she'd recognize that her, her, they, her, I think I screwed my pronouns in that sentence, but you, you get what I was saying. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> but I don't think that's the case. <laughs> Smile that can melt you. <laughs> okay, this is what we're doing today. I just let's just watch how this goes. See if she breaks character at all. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> No, what is that? I, I don't know. I am a lovely Ojo-sama. I wouldn't know such things. <laughs> That's all it takes? I think about three seconds ago. Will they recognize Riza? <laughs> Quiet. Quiet, don't ruin it. Yeah, you an acquaintance of Rosa? <laughs> Not the best acting I've ever seen, but she's doing it. <laughs> okay, I think you said enough. Let's, let's calm down. Sounds pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> it probably would. <laughs> yeah, good, good. <laughs> Ballet waitress. <laughs> that actually would be something I want to see. Oh. A little close to the camera there. <laughs> she wasn't going to miss this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is very elegant. <laughs> oh. Man, we just keep expanding this backstory, don't we? Oh. Never read anything somebody gives you. It never ends well. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> what do you lace your cake with here? I must know. <laughs> uh, 
I somehow misread sunbathing as something very different. <laughs> uh, sunbathing. Oh yeah, that was like an episode one thing too. Well, that was kind of a reason thing to do. You may have just blown your cover there. Yeah, I think you may have just completely blown your cover. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, everybody else knew, so. <laughs> uh. <laughs> she can keep her hair like that, though, right? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> wow, okay, okay. Freaking Cocoa. If that's the case, you played that pretty well. <laughs> She's always very safe. I kind of had a feeling. <laughs> but yeah, once you pulls out the gun, it's kind of hard to pretend at that point. <laughs> uh, you look fine, but I, I, I like the other hair better. But this is fine. I mean, the occasional image change is fine. <laughs> yeah, you won't trick me twice. Or three times, but now you look at it. Oh, hello. Wait. Wait. Uh, is that her, or is that Cocoa image changing? Because... <laughs> Yeah, there goes the wig. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty obviously Cocoa. <laughs> no more tricking people, okay? <laughs> so yeah, we're getting back to the student council stuff. <laughs> Name of sweetness. Nice. I think it looks good. Good thing we know an author. <laughs> Basically. The names are especially of note. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's, it's all good. Because she made the food. Okay, this could be cute. Let's see. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Gonna give her a big head at this rate, though. <laughs> She's like, right one for me, too, Chino. Uh, well, that took a turn. <sighs> but writing about yourself is a bit different, yeah.
<laughs> yeah, you go. Oh no. <laughs> I see what she thinks of Risa. <laughs> Not a bad line. That does look pretty good. She got real close to the camera there. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, we get pretty busy. <laughs> yeah, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. But I believe she'll win. <laughs> uh, so who's walking in on this? Oh, just random background characters. Just give me a minute to have this hug session end and I'll be right with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Put a little bit of magic on it. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, she remembers a childhood. Oh. We'll be sure to do that. Sadly, we go our separate ways now. <laughs> like I'll take literally all the ones you have. Oh, oh, there's the thing. So I guess we found it. And here you go. You're looking for this, right? What? Almost exactly what I said, word for word. Yeah, Anko definitely looked different without it. Well, you didn't look in that old lady's hair. That was your mistake. <laughs> Been so close yet so far away the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to be able to spend more time with you. <laughs> oh god, Shadow, you are so cute. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> no wonder it was so important. Sick guy save who can begin now. <laughs> This world is mine. <laughs> yeah, I think that's I think that's about it. <laughs> huh. I guess that's good enough. So no no taking over the world. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Guess that's decided. Yeah, the flashback stuff was just insanely adorable. And what's the point of having childhood friend characters? We don't get the occasional flashback to the the childhood, you know. So I do appreciate that. And as usual, I'm just in a much better mood after watching this episode. So I just kind of want to lay down and bask in my happiness. Nakayoshi! I mean, Nakayoshi is just a show in a nutshell. What am I looking at? Stinger? Are we celebrating winning? Oh, so do we actually win? I, I mean... I guess she has a mixed feelings about that. Well then. Okay, I guess that's that. Yeah. I was kind of expecting them to do something like that. Uh, but they were being vague about that for a reason. <laughs> the important things. <laughs> we are so on the same page. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have very different answers. Oh. Uh, my god, these two are gonna be the death of me. And then we end the episode, right? Well at this thing. I so do not care about you two after all that. Like, no offense to you two, I just really don't care. Okay. 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 That was the ninth episode of Gochu Bloom Season 3 as Usagi Desuka Order. So, this episode, I mean, we had the return of Rosa, right? So our, uh, like, alter ego, a second form of Niza. And, you know, a lot of people recognize her immediately, but uh, some people don't. You know, that's that's kind of the thing, right? Uh, of course, that was actually not even the first thing. The first thing was Chia apparently has been kind of nominated for the Student Council of Presidents. And a decent chunk of the episode was kind of dedicated towards that. You know, speech making and poster making, all, all that kind of stuff, right? Whatever, you know, all the, all the Student Council stuff that you do, right? So, yeah, that was a pretty important part of the episode, for sure. 
but I'll get more into that later. We, uh, yeah, Riza got a bit of a bit of an image change, you know. Her hair, the, the biggest difference, but just overall in, in this segment, she very much tried to act like a different person, you know, much more Joe Sama like. Definitely not her usual sort of self. And the reason why she's decided to, you know, pretend to be someone else is because Coco and uh, Chino did not recognize her, you know. So at this point, I wasn't quite sure if they were just pretending not to recognize her or if they did, really didn't recognize her. But and they kind of flip flopped a little bit on that throughout the episode to kind of keep the audience on their on their toes, so to speak, right? But yeah, Riza really took the opportunity to go full Rosa and be like, "Hey, yeah, who are you guys? I, I, I it's a long time no see. Like, hey, uh, I noticed you got an establishment here. Do you mind if I work here for a day? That that could be pretty fun, guys. Let's do that." So I don't think it was pretty fun. Everyone doing their best to kind of play along with it. You know, uh, I think Shadow actually did not recognize her at all either, but most people did, I would say. Like, Megu and Maya did. Uh, of course, Chia did. And, uh, actually, Aoyama did too. So, I mean, it's actually a bit more balanced than I thought it was, but... But, uh... Yeah, just, I mean, she doesn't even look that different. Like, you just grab her hair into the Twin Tails form and it's Riza, right? So, like, it's really not that hard to recognize her. But, uh, yeah, this really was quite fun, just seeing Riza try to go full Ojo Sama, because she of course knows how to do it, like, she kind of is an Ojo Sama, she goes to that kind of school, like, she knows how to act like that, it's just not her, so she usually doesn't, right? So, but uh, yeah, Kokua was just completely oblivious of this. I did like how Kokua tried to pretend that she knew all along, <laughs> like, there was a moment when she whips out her gun, you know, by reflex she goes full Riza, and at that point, Kokua figures out that it's her, but she actually very smoothly pretended like she knew the whole time, that was actually pretty skillful. Even though she didn't realize until just that moment, right? And uh, I like how she becomes an honorary member of the CQC club just because she like knows about the concept. That's that's where the bar is for that. And I also just liked how much they kept adding to like Rose's character. You know, like what was it, Kempo Ballet and stuff like that. And Yaoyama, I think, piled on too. Like, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of stuff there. And it just Aoyama just pops up like she always does. I like to, I feel I, I like to believe she's like always here. It's just the camera's not always po pointing at her, but she's always around. I like to I like to believe that the camera only points at her if she has something to do in the scene. And she like gave, she like gave a little bit of a note of something to say, <laughs> right? And then we just ask, "What the heck do you put in that food?" So that was good too. Just <laughs> freaking Risa slash Rosa. Also, sunbathing was the thing we talked about. You know, that's that was a good time. You know, why not? I did like the little thing when we were like walking with the, you know, the big old heavy sacks. And you have Kokua struggling and then Riza's like easily doing it. And then it's like, oh yeah, they sure are heavy. Because that's, I'm pretty sure that's a callback to like way back in episode one or two. I think one. Because back then Kokua was like, uh, I, I, like a normal girl like me really struggles to carry even this amount, right? And Riza's just like over here just hulking like ten of them. Like, oh, oh yes, uh, this is so difficult. Because she, you know, wants to be on that same wavelength. This, I'm pretty sure, was a callback to that, which is pretty cool. And, <laughs> yeah, I'd also just enjoy the shot of Kokwe just kind of, like, kind of like grabbing Reese's hair to put it in that, that twin tail form. Just, it was just kind of cute. I don't know. I liked it. Not much to say about it. I just I liked it. And that's really what most of these discussion segments really boil down to, especially in Slice of Life anime, is just going over all the things that I liked about the episode. But I think that's most of what I want to say on that scene, aside from the fact that Chino, like, really did not notice either. But, I mean, but Chino's a bit more forgivable because she is, you know, younger, right? So, I mean, not that much younger, really, but younger enough. And then Kokua. Kokua decided to try the same image change thing, try to be Mocha, but it was quite obviously Kokua. I mean, she has a Kokua personality, for one thing, and she has her just regular Kokua aura, right? So, you know, I, she, didn't, she didn't fool me. And the wig just just came off. Maybe we should have glued that on a bit tighter. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. It was kind of like a nice little break from the student council stuff because that was a big part of the episode. And well, that and the the childhood friend the little crown thing. I mean, that all kind of sort of tied together a little bit. But yeah, the poster itself they had would looked great. I do like how they got Aoyama to kind of help because if you know an author, like that's a great great friend to have to help with anything written, right? So. Yeah, we're just trying, trying to do our best to get out the the Chia appeal, and just she's as a character just so heavily tied to you know the establishment she works at. So a lot a lot of that was kind of leveraged, you know, her delicious food and all that. 
she's not so great at specifically, you know, trying to sell herself, right? So, there's a little bit of difficulty with that. I did quite like what Chino, Chino wrote, though. You know, uh, what she said about Cocoa was a little bit less kind, but, you know, at least it proves that she knows you, Cocoa. That's a good thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Chia's impression of Riza, that was that was quite something. You know, getting to see what she thinks of Riza. I don't think it was 100% accurate, but it was funny, so I'll, I'll take it. Also, he actually found out that uh, Chato also had a chance for the student council president thing, but uh, turned it down for reasons that it ended up being very similar to why Chia turned it down. But that, again, get a little bit ahead of myself. I did like the little hugging session we got going on there as customers walk in. Like, hey, uh, you know, we're here. Like, could you give us a table? And she's like, one minute. I just, I'm hugging a couple girls real quick. I'll be with you in a moment. So, you know, life goals right there, really. And then, like, uh, Kokua helped out. She gets to wear the outfits. It's definitely nice to see her in a different sort of outfit once in a while. You got Chie just sparkling gold dust on the food. And yeah, we actually managed to find the the, the crown, Like right? It was like hiding in the old lady's hair the whole time. The one place nobody has ever ever brave enough to look. But Shadow found it and was able to return it to her. And that led to a really nice, really nice scene of the two of them. And that's when a lot of things only like tie together. You know, because we have the whole... The flashback is where she got the crown and it was specifically a, a present from Shadow, and that inspired her to go full world conquest, you know? But she's like, no, no, that's not what I meant. Like, chill, chill. Just like, you know, manager, and you be manager, I be manager, we be together forever, happy, you know, sparkling. It's, 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 it's that, that all stuff, that all great stuff, you know? I'll not be student council president, you not be student council president, and we can all just be happy together. I'm kind of summarizing overall the, the, the last third or fourth of the episode. That's really, really, really what it came down to. And just, yeah, the way all that came together, all the reveals, all the feelings being conveyed to each other, like saying, saying their answer at the same time to each other. Like, all that stuff was just 100% perfection like the amazingness words don't really do it justice just like some of the best ending payoff for an episode we've gotten in a while i think like just truly a good episode for their relationship for sure and i greatly enjoyed it and they even managed to tie in more good reason stuff in the episode on top of that so yeah i, re I really like this episode again that really should surprise nobody i've liked like every episode of this show because this show is a gift from the heavens so uh and yeah Pretty much as soon as we saw Shadow starting to look a little bit sad about uh, Chia winning the election, I was pretty sure that they were setting up for a bit of a like a rug pull that somebody else won, and it was the and it was the case, you know, it was that one girl that we saw earlier, that one that clearly wanted it, so she got it. So I'd say this is overall a win-win because if you remember, Chia Chia didn't even ask for it initially. It was just like, hey, you think we think you'd be great for it, and she kind of wanted to answer those answer those expectations, but obviously that does not take priority at all over you know Shadow and her friends and all that so in the end i think she made the right decision i think everyone in the show pretty much agrees with that too so <sighs> yeah i think i got everything i wanted to say off now so yeah good stuff good stuff thank you for watching and a special thanks to snokey and ryan for supporting the channel if you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.